Fed Chair Powell signaling that the central bank may be near the end of their tightening cycle. For more on the Fed and its impact on the markets, let's bring in Howard Lutnick, CEO and chairman of Cantor Fitzgerald and BGC Partners and chairman of the Newmark Group as well. Howard, great to have you here on set. Um, I don't want to just talk about the Fed decision, but I want to talk about it in light of what we're seeing continue in the regional banks, and that's just turmoil and a lack of faith there. PacWest is down almost 50 percent on reports that it's evaluating strategic options. TD backed out of the First Horizon deal, so we're seeing First Horizon tumble a lot. What's your take on what the Fed has done and how that impacts, if at all, what we're seeing in regional banks in terms of the crisis? All right, well, let's start with the, the big picture, which okay. is a trillion dollars came out of the regional banking system, right? Went into money funds, went into treasuries, and went into the big four, right? A trillion dollars, you know what that is? That's putting your hand on the neck of the lenders, right? They're all lending less. I think that's a hundred basis point mm. equivalent to a hundred basis, basis point interest rate hike. So of course the Fed's done. Of course they're done. They're not pausing. They are done because we're actually a hundred basis points higher. It's not a rate hike, right? You hike rates so that I'll borrow less. You'll borrow less. Are we a hundred points too high? I think we're fifty basis points high, too high, higher than they thought they would be. Now, here's why are they the still raise then, Howard? Why are they and still I was just showing off. You know, I said I would. I'll do the least I can. Conviction I take yeah. out the words that say I'm going to cut and, you know, I'm going to raise any more. You don't think it, it's a big mistake. You don't think it's a big mistake that backfires and they have to cut. They would, they're not going to cut so fast. You know, this concept, the it market hits the sort fan. of saying. If it hits the fan, they might. The market says three cuts this year. Three cuts this year. Really? You think they raised yesterday and they're going to cut this year? Here's my call stays the same. Remember, if the, if the money's come out of the banking system, raising rates doesn't change it as much, cutting rates doesn't change as much. They're just going to stay steady, Eddie. I think the Treasury market is too low, right? I think the dollar is too high. You mean the yields are too low in the Treasury? Yeah, come on. What do you think? The two-year note is calling for like six cuts. Come on. They're not going to cut. Imagine these are central bankers or oh, this is like this, right? You think they're saying, oh, I'm sorry, saying I was if wrong? If you're right in terms of the 100 basis point cut, I mean, hike, excuse me, equivalent that credit tightening is going to do, then they might have to. They're not, if they came out yesterday and said, we're going to hike 125 basis points over the next three months, right? Let's right, just what a pretend. disaster that what is that? Right, that's exactly. But that, you're, you're, saying, saying. you're saying that that's what the end result is going to be. And so if that is the end result, ultimately, maybe they do have to pivot. Maybe the markets have got it right in terms of 4% Fed funds by January 24. But here's the problem. If they cut, it's not going to have the same juice, right? You know, what's happened is the string got really loose, right? So when you push that string and nothing happens, right, the hike isn't that big a deal because they just took a trillion out of the banking system. But the cut is that really going to motivate that trillion dollars? It's not going back in the banking system if they cut. So what's happened is the juice of the Fed is weaker than people think, and therefore they're probably not going to show that they're weaker. They're likely to do nothing. Is the banking, is there a banking crisis still ongoing in your view? Is it a problem? I mean, PacWest. It's going to not be a problem. I mean, you know, look. Well, there are a lot of people who say it's you, not a problem. Whoever's in front Jamie of Diamond you. Jamie Dimon said it's contained. Okay. Jay Powell said it's contained. All right, you know, come They're on. They're pretty smart right. people. You know, the guy who makes my suit says suits look good. You know, they don't. He doesn't. Worry. He's not going to talk about it. everyone's working at home and no one's buying suits, right? People. If you ask any any banker now, they say banking's fine except for what. Who's calling PacWest to make a loan today? You ever heard? Answer. <clears throat> nobody. You ever